Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello. For today's video, let us solve problems involving exponential functions. So the most common applications in real life situations of exponential functions are population growth, half-life, as well as compound interest. So yung tatlo na to, yung most uh, common application that involves exponential functions. Okay? For exponential models and population growth, Suppose equality y doubles every t units of time. If y sub 0 is the initial amount, then the equality y after t units of time is given by this um, formula. So y is equal to y sub 0 times the equality of 2 raised to small t divided by capital T. So guys, wag kayong malalito. Yung y sub 0 dito ay tinatawag natin initial amount. Okay? Uh, how do we come up na meron tayong to dito? Kasi dito guys, sabi, doubles every t units of time. Ito yun guys. Okay? So, double which means we are about to write 2. Kasi double nga, right? Kung triple, so, mati change to. Okay? So, magiging 3 yun. Kung triple, yun nasa given natin. Okay. So, another is exponential functions and half-life. So, if the half-life of a substance is t units, and y sub 0 is the amount of substance corresponding to t equals 0, then the amount y of substance remaining after t units of time is given by this formula. So y is equal to y sub 0 times 1 half raised to t over capital T. So initial amount yan. And then how do we come up with 1 half? Kasi half life. Okay. So t over capital T. So, that is the unit of time. Okay. So, and then the last one, we have compound interest. Okay. For compound interest, if a principal or represented by capital P is invested at an annual rate of R, compounded annually, then the amount after T years is given by this um, formula. Okay, or equation. A is equal to P, or the principal, times the quality of 1 plus R close raised to T. So, as you observe guys, di ba meron tayong mga exponent dito? Okay, kasi ito yung mga uh, sample problems about exponential functions. So, yung sa mga previous lesson or sa previous video na pinag-aralan natin, so ito na yung application nila guys. Okay. So, we have here three examples. Let's solve. Number one, at t equals zero, there were initially 20 bacteria. Suppose that the bacteria doubles every 100 hours. Give an exponential model for the bacteria as a function of t. So, dito pa lang guys, kitang kita naman natin sa habay dito as we analyze doubles every 100 hours. So, we are going to use this formula, y is equal to y sub zero times the quality of 2 raised to t over capital T. Okay? Kasi doubles every 100 hours. Okay. So, uh, at t equals 0, ayan, at t equals 0, um, number of bacteria, so number of bacteria, is what? Equals 20. Right? Okay? Kasi sabi dyan, at equal 0, there were initially 20 bacteria. So, ito yon. And then, suppose that the bacteria doubles every 100 hours. So, if for every 100 hours, matadoble yung bacteria. So, T equals 100. Right? Okay? And then, number of bacteria. So, nasusundan ba ako, guys? Equals, so, 20 times 2, right? Okay. And then, um, kasi 20, 20 times 2 is 40. So, nadoble for every 100 hours. So, next I so, for every 100 hour, so, magdagdag tayo dyan, so, magiging 200. Okay number of bacteria equals 20 times 
of course, constant yung 2. Kasi, uh, double nga, right? So, and then, raise to 1 to, guys. Ito, raise to 2. Okay? So, 2 times 2 ay 4. Times 20 is 80, right? So, from 40, naging 80. Did you get my point? Okay. Next. Uh, at t equals 300. Okay. So, the number of bacteria equals so 20 times 2 raised to 3, right? So, 2 raised to 3 i 8 times 20 uh, 160. From 80, naging 160 na, guys. Okay? And then, at t equals 400, okay, number of bacteria equals 20 times 2 raised to 4. What is 2 raised to 4? That is equal to 16 times 20. Okay, 320, right? So, from 20, magiging 40. Magiging 80. Magiging 160. Magiging 320. Okay. So, after 400 hours, yung bacteria magiging 320. Okay. So, ang question dito guys ay, give an exponential model for the bacteria as a function of t. Okay, so, y is equal to, okay, yung y sub 0 natin dito guys, okay, ang gagamitin natin dito, yung initial natin, okay, initial na bacteria which is 20, right? So, 20, and then sabi dyan, as we analyze, suppose that the bacteria doubles every 100 hours. So, 20 times 2 raised to T over units of time which is 100 hours, right? So, over 100. So, this is the um, model, okay? An exponential model for this situation. Y is equal to 20 times 2 raised to T over 100. Okay, kapag i-check natin yan, let's see. So, 100 over 100, that is raised to 1, right? 2 raised to 1, I 2 times uh, 20, 40 yung sagot, right? Okay? So, kung 200, 200 over 100, okay, so 2 raised to 2 yun, 4 times 20, 80. Okay, check. Okay? Next, number 2 example, suppose that the half-life of a certain radioactive substance is 10 days and there are 10 grams initially. Determine the amount of substance remaining after 30 days and give an exponential model for the amount of remaining substance. So, dito naman guys, kung mapapansin natin, nababawasan, right? So, kaya nga half-life. Okay, we will be using this um, formula, no? Okay, so, sabi dyan, um... At t equals 0, the substance is about 10 grams, right? Okay. So, meaning, start tayo kay 0. T equals 0. So, therefore, amount of substance amount of substance equals 10 grams. Okay? Kasi yun yung ano natin, initial. And then, um, sabi dyan, 10 days, no? So, t equals 10. So, the amount of, sulat ko muna, the amount of substance So, nababawasan to. From 10, magiging 5. Okay. So, 5 na lang siya. So, decreasing. Kaya nga half. Okay. Pababa. No? And then, 
Sabi dyan, 30 days, right? Okay, 30 days. So, T equals 20. So, the amount of substance equals from 5. So, it became 2.5, right? So, 2.5 grams. So, nabawasan siya, no? And then, ang tinatanong, uh, determine the amount of substance remaining after 30 days. So, when T equals 30, okay, so, 30 days to, right? So, itong mga to ay days. The amount of substance equals from 2.5 grams so magiging 1.25 grams okay so after 30 days ayan magiging 1.25 grams na lang siya nakuha ba guys okay and then we need to give the exponential model for the amount of remaining substance okay so why now is equal to of course, what is our initial? Suppose that the half-life of a certain radioactive substance is 10 days and there are 10 grams initially. So, we have 10. Okay, maririto. And then times 1 half. Okay? So, half-life. And then raised to T over 10. Okay, 10 days. So, this is um, exponential model for number 2. Nakuha ba guys? Okay. And then, another example. So, Mrs. De La Cruz invested 100,000 pesos in a company that offers 6% interest compounded annually. Define an exponential model for this situation. How much will this investment uh, be worth at the end of 5 years? So guys, pag sinabi natin compounded annually, so yearly siya, okay, yearly tumutubo yung principal amount natin na yun. Tapos yung uh, kikitain nun or yung tubo nun, idadagdag doon sa principal amount by the succeeding years. Okay, so ganun siya. Continue siya guys. Okay, so... Gagamit tayo ng formula. Balik ko muna sa dati. Okay. Ang formula natin dito guys ay A is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R close raised to T. Okay. So, yan ang formula natin guys. So, dito determine muna natin yung value natin. No? Na mga given. So, yung P natin dito guys ay yung principal which is 100 thousand. Okay. And then, another given, which is uh, interest rate. Okay, that is 6%, right? So, this becomes, so, R equals 6%. And if we're going to convert 6% in decimal, so, ito ay magiging 0 0.06. Tatandaan yan guys, hindi pwede maging 0 0.6 Kasi kapag 0 0.6 yun ay 60%, right? Okay And then, of course, our time Okay So, we have 5 years, tama? Okay, so 5 years Nakuha ba ako guys? Okay And then, we can use the formula A is equal to P times 1 plus R close raised to T. Okay, next. The next thing to do is to substitute all those values. No? Yung principal natin dito ay 100,000. So, maglagay tayo ng parentheses para hindi tayo nalilito. Ayan. And then, 1 plus, yung R natin dito guys, ang gagamitin na natin ay 0 0.06. 0 0.06. And then, raise to T, which is 5. Okay? 
Nasundan ba ako guys? Next. Let's simplify. Copy nyo lang yan guys. And then, 1 plus 0.06. This becomes 1.06 raised to the 5th power. Okay. And then, with the use of scientific calculator. Okay, pwede na natin makuha yan. Nagamit uh, tayo ng scientific calculator. Okay? So, 100,000 uh, times one point zero six close raised to 5. So, ang magiging sagot natin dito guys ay 133,822.56 Okay? So, ito yung magiging sagot natin dito. Um, guys, I suggest gamit tayo ng uh, scientific calculator para mas maging accurate yung magiging answer natin. So, ganun lang kasimple. Okay, and since we're talking about or we're dealing about money, right? So, kapag pera pinag-usapan, do not forget to write the peso symbol. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple at kadali. I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. Kindly like and share. Thank you for watching.